Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So we've got another Medieval Engineers bit of footage. Now this was nicely provided by the developers, and this is showing some of the sculpturing of the terrain, and showing what you can do in creative mode. Now, in the Space Engineers sort of game, we've never seen something like this before. We can deform asteroids, but we've never been able to actually cut, add retexture change the shape and i'm sure this is more of a creative sort of feature and it's also going to have some interesting aspects in survival in limited amounts for building castles fortifications walls rock faces and defenses but just look how beautiful it cuts away at the terrain you can see how it's cutting away at the terrain you've got this sort of grassy sort of cave and the textures can be changed and all the voxels are actually just cutting straight away into the actual path and you're creating a really interesting sort of pathway through the tunnel. You can also see a bit of a prototype of the hood at the moment, but it's very similar to Space Engineers. You can see how it's in early development, and this video is not really about that. It's more about how it's cutting and changing the environment around. So you can see how he's retexturing the surfaces, changing it from grass to stone, and he's also changing the block. Now, this is what I found really exciting. Have a look at these settings. Transparency, distance, width, height, depth and we can all adjust these to make different sorts of catacombs so as you can see here he starts to cut a more sort of even tunnel something you might have underneath your castle or an escape route from your castle underneath like you saw in the trailer itself just really interesting to actually have a look and see how the player can cut away now i'm not sure if this is just a creative feature or there's going to be something similar in a more of a survival aspect but it's very interesting you can see how he's escaping up at the top and you'll also see a little bit of a sneak peek as he applies some sort of jetpack here to try to escape now that's that's quite interesting because i mean in some sort of creative mode if you're stuck on the ground trying to build it is very hard so i wonder what they'll do to sort of counter for that ability to fly around and help build in creative sort of stance very interesting anyway now if we head over here what he actually shows us next is a little bit of the forming and copying and bulking out of these rocks using the same sort of component. You can see how he's changing the radius, so he's making these really nice little tight little balls of rock that he's adding onto the terrain and defining. Now this would be perfect for building some sort of castle sort of structure on top of a mountain top of so. And then he also decides to retexture some of the terrain, so if you're building a pathway, that would be really useful as well. You've got hay, you've got grass by the look of it. They've also got some sort of um, barren sort of path and rock and stone. So I thought it was really interesting just to see how this new feature is going to allow us to sculpt our terrains, change our settlements, and basically make a much more exciting environment for us to build in by us creating it ourselves. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.